Thanks, Chad. I'm Corey Toon, and I hope this doesn't feel like homework to you because I'm having so much fun. I'm at a lake that I'm sure all of you have seen, but none of you have visited. Down here at Mona Reservoir in Mona, Utah, having some fun on the lake. It's a beautiful day. Lake's perfect, nice and glassy. I haven't ever been here before. I've been to a lot of the other lakes, but this one, it's nice and a little bit smaller. Seems a little bit more fun to take the younger kids out, not too worried about them. Kind of let them just jump out in the water. It's a nice little area, really pretty view. Not too far of a drive. I, I like it out here. Mona Reservoir is located at the north end of Juab Valley in central Utah. It's located near I-15 between Santaquin and Nephi and west of Mount Nebo. It's typical of Great Basin Reservoirs being a flat valley surrounded by mountains. It's also known as Mount Nebo Reservoir. Anyone who has gone between Salt Lake and Las Vegas has seen this reservoir on the west side of I-15. They've probably looked over there and said, I wonder what that piece of water is all about. Well, that's what we're finding out today. Nice place. Not a lot of people. The lake's always smooth, so it's pretty fun. Just ride the jet skis, get a little crazy on them, get tube, water ski. Time to play. I've never been here before and several times driving by my kids have said, hey dad, look at that water. Nobody likes water more than us, dad. Why don't we go play there? Yeah. So I decided with At Your Leisure's Go Boating campaign that we definitely had to check out this place. Mona Reservoir was created in 1895 by the construction of an earth-filled dam. It's only one mile wide and five miles long, but it has plenty of beach and plenty of room to enjoy. Now this lake is unique in its own way. We don't have the red rock or the evergreen or the pine trees. This lake is located right in between farmland. We're surrounded on all sides by farmland and mountains and it's absolutely gorgeous. Even though this lake is rather small, we've enjoyed big activities. Well, we've got the little ones that can just jump out off the shore and go swimming, which is a nice thing. We have wave runners, uh, jet skis, people riding the tubes, boating, wakeboarding. You can do just about anything you want out here. And it's nice for the little kids because they can just go swimming out in the water and cool down. I don't think a lot of people realize how fun this place is. It's like a big hidden secret for us. It's awesome because you'll come down here and there's not many people, but there's enough lake you can have a lot of fun on. I don't think they want to come here because it's too small. It's actually up higher than what it usually is this year, so it's pretty good. I like it. I'd rather go here than Utah. It's more convenient. Less people, so a lot better. My impression of this lake has drastically changed, not only because we met a lot of people here, a lot of locals come to this lake, but people travel from quite some distance we see today, and they all enjoy the lake, and I want to come back. Next time you guys drive by I-15 and see this little lake over on the side, you'll say, at your leisure, told me about it, and I'm definitely going. Not a lot of people, so you have the lake pretty much to yourself. It's never really busy. It's usually pretty glassy, so pretty fun lake. Sometimes it's nice to get away and not have so many people. Come down here, have a lot of fun on a lake. It's right close to home. It's kind of like I said, a hidden secret. Well, there you have it from Mona Reservoir. We have definitely uncovered a hidden gem today. Now, if you want to discover more places like this, go to one of our Go Boating Utah dealers, and they have a special exclusive disc that is full of places like this. Or you can go to the Go Boating Utah website, and you can find out where to go to have this much fun with family and friends. I'm Corey Toon. Now let's get back to Malia at Motorcycle University.